Chuckawalla isn't compared to hell because of its beautiful lakes and streams. Its desolation is an arid warning to those foolish enough to explore its parched terrain. Death is pervasive in Chuckawalla. A brief chat is cherished when you know you may never see your friends again. Seeing the base camp always invokes a feeling of relief at having survived the trip getting there. The roar of a motorcycle punctuates the perfunctory greeting and introduction between the intrepid explorers Gar Rosito and Pam and Mike Henkoski upon the Henkoski's arrival at base camp. explorer and renowned snake killer Larry Jones returns to camp without a snake but with fellow explorer Diane Rosito are on edge when an agent of government oppression from the BLM harasses occupants of the base camp. Snake Killer Larry stands vigilant with a shotgun in hand. The BLM agent is forced to walk out of Chuckawalla. It's doubtful she made it out alive. With the agent of government oppression on a walk of death, Snake Killer Larry waxes eloquent about the Chuckawalla experience. Well, Mike, as you can see, we're out here in the great outdoors, the George Harris campsite. Yes, I've been coming here for many years now. And it's not always easy being tough and rugged out in the great outdoors, but a bunch of hams. <laughs> Hi, well, my old six shooter here. Yeah. Good friends, good food, good drink. Well, it's it's, it's pretty. Easy. As you can see here, we parked the Fruxel in this area. Over here, we parked the Jeep. That's in case a Bureau of Land Management man happens to come out here. We can make a quick getaway. And, well, over there, over the hills are the train if you wanted to get a closer examination of the property. Later, the decision is made to take the risky and dangerous trip to the abandoned fire and brimstone mine. Call it the fire and brimstone mine for no reason. The snake killer decides to make a field expedient repair on some of the damaged mining equipment. Follow-up inspection reveals that his repair effort was successful. While 
while strolling across the mine site, Pam Hinkowski inadvertently walks through a rift in the space-time continuum. Fortunately, she soon emerges from the rift unscathed. Fearful of heights, Larry the Snake Killer and fearless Mike Rosito maintain a lookout for agents of government oppression. Larry signals, it's all clear. Before departing, our fearless adventurers pan the area one more time. After some more travel over vehicle-eating roads, two birds are spotted. One of the natural kind, and the other of the much faster mechanical kind. Viewing a dead tree as a tumor on the land escape, the snake killer uses his jeep to yank it from the ground for firewood. Residing in the hell of Chuckawalla, playing with fire only seems right. It was the shotgun. Playing with fire isn't the only way to pass the time in Chakawala. There's also reading. There's the fun of ingesting hard attack crackers. There's arson. And there's gunplay. And of course, there is always motorcycle riding in Chuckawalla, the road to hell.